What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more scrap mechanics survival and you'll notice right away a few things have changed. Number one, I got rid of that really bad car from last episode. I didn't like the way it looked like at all and I realized it was kind of dumb because the adjustable suspension came from a car I had built in creative a long time ago. So I decided to basically duplicate the same car I had made in creative in survival here and it's this pipe frame piece buggy and you can see we still have the adjustable suspension, but the whole car just looks way cooler in my opinion. And it's basically straight up an exploration vehicle now. There's nothing else we can do with it. It's just an explorer and getting places quickly. And I really, really like it. I've also gone ahead and reinforced some of the wall here. This is kind of getting awesome. We've been collecting a lot of material. You'll notice um, we've got metal, we've got brick. And actually, if we take this off, there's another layer of brick. So this is the second brick layer. And then I'm putting the heavy metal over top. And then, of course... We've got the automatic farm. Now, a lot of you guys had a lot of comments about the automatic farm. And a few of you said, well, why don't you have it come back and seed on the way back to make the whole thing faster? Needless to say, I sped the whole thing up. So what I did is I got rid of the auto harvesting function. And the reason why is to auto harvest, you have to always go in the same direction. You can't seed if there's a plant there. So you have to make sure you vacuum it first and then seed and then water. And that's just sort of a pain in the butt. So I changed it around and now it's just four planters. So it doesn't auto harvest anymore, but it can go twice as fast per row. And then of course it does two rows at a time. So it actually does this whole farm in a minute. And uh, we've got these little color checkered things here. And that's because one deploys on one color, one deploys on the other color. I could have also done it by putting a second set of gear teeth on this side, but you know, whatever. It's not that expensive to upgrade sensors. So I just upgraded them and now the watering will water on every single square and it has no problem keeping up. And then the color sensors will make sure it seeds two plots at a time. And it does this whole farm in a minute. It's fantastic. So you have to harvest it yourself, but we'll come back tonight at midnight and we'll plant a crop just so you guys can see it in action. Now, what I want to do today is build a transport truck because we've got a bunch of crops now. I've been farming a little bit. I haven't been starving to death, so probably not even going to starve this episode, which is amazing. But I want to start getting rid of some of these crops. So I want to build a transport truck that can, first of all, bring the crops in the truck itself and use the truck cab to push the crops into the packing station. And then, of course, have a trailer where we can load up all the crates and bring them to the trader. So that's what I want to get working on. I think we have enough materials for it. So we've got 10 wheels, 10 suspension pieces, a bunch of bearings. Um, and I think that's actually enough bearings, to be perfectly honest. We only need like 12 bearings. And then we got a vacuum pump and we'll have to steal one of these chests. Like, honestly, we can just empty this one out. And we'll steal that one to put it in the vehicle. So hopefully this is enough stuff. Uh, we need some lights, actually. If we don't have lights, we're pretty much screwed. Lights, lights. I need more glue. We always, everybody always needs glue. All right, so we've got a bit of metal. I'm kind of worried about the amount of metal, but we do have a lot of concrete, so that's good. We might need to actually do one mining run to get more stuff, but let's start building this truck out of concrete. Now, I know the fruit crates are seven by seven dimensions, so I want the trailer slash truck to be 14 wide, so we can fit two fruit crates on the trailer side by side. All right, so I'm gonna try and make as much of this truck out of concrete as I can, uh, just to make the truck nice and heavy. The trailer, I'm pretty sure, is gonna just be straight wood. I want the trailer to be as light as possible so that when we add a bunch of weight to it, it's not a big deal. And eventually, I wanna build more trailers for, you know, other things. Basically using up all the concrete, but concrete is the heaviest material now. It's funny, in creative, metal was like super heavy and concrete was medium weight, but now they've sort of shifted it around where concrete is actually heavier than metal. Uh, which I guess makes sense. Metal's got the higher durability and concrete. Oh, they're the same durability. Well, look at that. Concrete. We might as well just build this whole vehicle out of concrete. The front wheels, I want to do a kind of a cool steering mechanism for them. I want to do like over wheel steering. So if you put the steering pivot point right above the wheel, then the wheel can turn pretty much in its own hub without actually having to you know, move or anything. And I want to see if we can do that here. What I'm going to do is use this upgraded seat to then give us like a crazy steering angle so the truck can pivot pretty much on a dime, right? We want to be able to maneuver the thing uh, in tight spaces. So basically to do that, we're going to do this and I'm going to paint my bearings because I've got paint now. That's right. Yeah, no nope. priorities in survival people. We got to paint the bearings. Hopefully I can paint this truck. I'm not going to lie. That buggy took so much paint because the way paint in this game works is every time you click, it consumes a paint can. So every individual pipe piece is a single paint can and it was just ridiculous like i went through so much freaking paint uh, it was just it was just insane so this is the setup 
we put the steering up top and then we put the suspension coming below it and if I've done this right this should be enough clearance you have to make sure you leave one block clearance above the tire so when the suspension compresses the tire doesn't bottom out that's the only sort of unfortunate thing about this setup but it's really cool for truck steering because we're just going to have such a real tight turning radius and we're not going to have to worry about the tires you know accidentally rubbing up on something now look at that we have this in hub steering you can see that it oh i guess we need to move this just a little bit forward we're not going to do dualies on the back for now um i don't have enough tires for it or maybe uh, do we do that'd be one two three four so that'd be for the truck and then we'd have four tires for the trailer is that right yeah let's do yeah let's do dualies let's let's do it i was gonna is that how did i build so many tires oh no because we need we need all of these if we wanted to do dualies right because it would be two 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 oh my goodness we need more tires do we have honeycomb let's go check oh my god we have a surplus of honeycomb okay we're doing dualies all right so we're gonna just uh make this a flat nose truck not because uh i like flat nose trucks any better than other trucks it's just because it's a lot easier to deal with for materials so there we go we're gonna just put concrete on the base and we this will be kind of cool because we can put metal on the top and two-tone this thing and the concrete base should keep this thing weighed down quite nicely so here we go Make a nice little wheel hub like this. And this is what I mean with these in-hub steering. Now we've got this completely covered wheel section. And no matter what, the tires shouldn't rub on anything. And it's just got tons of space. Well, I really hope at some point we can find some wedge blocks. Because I really don't like the fact that I can't round this off. Like, I should be able to put a wedge block in there. The only round block is this round girder block. Or like this block here, the pipe corner, or these ones. But none of those even make sense in the wheel hub because they'd be bulging into the tire. Like, that's just that's just silly in my mind. So, I really hope that we can find wedge blocks at some point and just kind of clean up some of this aesthetic stuff. But anyway, let's uh, put the back axles on. So, pretty much like right here, actually. I think that's lined up, right? Yeah, that looks lined up. Perfect. And then dualies on the back. Nice. This is going to be a pretty beefy truck, but my plan is to use this truck for multiple trailers. Have a bunch of different trailers that have different functions, and we can use the same truck for a bunch of them. So, we're just going to extend this out, uh, and then we'll put a breaker here. Alright, that looks sick. I really, I really like that. That looks kind of cool. Going to be like a real city type truck, I feel. It's going to be completely, like, blocked off. The wheels are not going to be open wheels. They're going to be, like, closed and completely encapsulated in, like, hubs. Just because I feel like it'll look cool. So we're just going to do something like this. Bring this up. And bring this up. Hopefully we don't run out of concrete. Uh, that's a real problem I didn't really think of. Alright, sick. I really like that. I think that looks sick. I like the dimensions of that. It's kind of like a tow truck, almost. It feels like a tow truck. What I want to do is I want to have a fuel tank on one side, and on the other side, I'm going to have the chest with the, you know, vacuum pump dispenser mechanism come out. So, kind of like cut into these two spots. We'll have a fuel tank on one. Actually, can we even afford a fuel tank? That would be a good thing to check. We need paint. We got paint. 15 paint. Uh, yeah, I can give you that. So, 15 paint. And what else did we need? Something stupid, right? Glue. Of course it's glue. Alright, well, you know what? Since it's dark out, let's just go get some glue in the ocean. Um, we needed, let's see, we need two glue for that, so that's six shells. And then we also need glue for more lights, right? So, we need probably, you know, let's just go get like 20 or 30 shells and come on back. Alrighty, we're back and crafting glue. So that should give us a bunch, and that'll give us enough to make some lights and some other stuff. What else do we need? I already forgot by the time. We need a light. Oh yeah, fuel tank. That's right, let's build one of those right away we'll need one of those and another light i want to have four lights on the front just because i think it'll look cool they're honestly they're gonna be like right next to each other so i don't think there's a big deal with it but uh and then we have a chest so let's start putting the pieces together i guess we need to put the seat down where is the seat this guy and i want to have it up basically right on top of this wheel well oh crud this truck is 14 wide we can't put an even shoot i need to make this truck odd width not even with. I gotta make it one wider. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the whole truck one wider. So we're just gonna cut it in half and then add some blocks to it and reattach it. Because we want I want a central hitch mechanism, and I don't want the hitch to be, you know, offset and uneven because then it's just gonna drive weird. So we'll just cut it in half, just weld this piece back up, and now it should be odd width. 
which just makes it ridiculously huge. This is a massive truck compared to all the other vehicles we've got. But that should work, right? So that's five width now with our center line right here down the middle. So we can actually just paint that. We're going to paint this eventually anyway, but let's just paint the center line so we know exactly where it is. And there we go. So that's going to be our truck. All right, so we got a gas tank now. Perfect. So let's just put the gas tank in. Uh, it's just going to be on the side here. And we're gonna we're gonna cover this whole thing up so the spout doesn't even show, but it'll just look like uh, you know at least you'll see the fuel meter or something on the side. So we'll just cover this up, kind of like this. And if we go like that, boom, done. And then this will be where our cab, basically, yeah, our cab will go up here. So that'll be the the start of the cab. And then for the vacuum pump assembly with the chest. I don't really know how I want to do this, to be perfectly honest. I feel like I just want the pump to stick out of the side and have the chest accessible through the cab. So you can just get out of your seat in the cab, you know, stand here and fill up the chest with goodies. So if we go like this, how big is the vacuum pump stick out is the question. Does it... That's a little... A little bit far. I feel like we need to pull it back. Or you know what? What if we put this whole thing on a piston as well? That's even better. Let's just put this down here. Let's get a piston in. Like so. And the piston attaches to the crate if we can... Can I rotate this at all? Is it... No? Oh, there we go. So just like that, and then the vacuum pump. Just like that, and now the whole thing's kind of hidden away. And if we do... Can we do this? This would be really cool if I can just hide this. So what if I go like this, and then bring this across the top? Can I extend that piston and actually have it work? Oh, that's sick. That's so cool. So now we can dispense our fruit, and then bring that back in. We could... Look at that. Fruit dispense out. That's gonna be awesome. So that's how we'll dispense our fruit. We'll unload our trailer. We can get all the fruit loaded into this from the cab. So we'll just leave this entire section here open so we can access it whenever we want. And then that'll dispense all our fruit out. Our engine, uh, I don't have an engine. Where's the engine at? Here's the engine. The engine is going to go I guess right next to this in the cab as well. We'll just put it up on a, a block here so it's kind of close to the... There we go. Perfect. How many connections can you go? You can go two plus two. Plus two again. Okay, so you can go to six bearings with a single engine. Is that right? Can I actually do six? That would be sick. I know you can only do five with the original creative mode one. Oh, you can do six with a single engine. That's great. Okay, perfect. We can upgrade this engine even more then. Uh, there we go. All right, and then we just need to finish off the cab. So actually, I'm going to cover this up just so that, you know, you can walk on top of this and not have a big deal. And the cab is going to come up from here. So we're going to make the rest out of metal. Oh my goodness. This looks kind of funny with metal on top of concrete, doesn't? I feel like I need to just do the whole thing out of concrete. Have a big old concrete truck. This looks great. Three cheers for super blocky truck designs. I am going to put some rounded pieces on it. Um... Not really sure yet if I want to use steel girders. I feel like I want to use these I-beam corners. It's either those or these pipe pieces. But I feel, I don't know. Let's build a couple of each and see which one looks better. All right, I put a little bit of a grill and some lights on the front. But we need to round these corners off because they look just terrible when they're not rounded. So let's try it with the I-beams first, which, oh my god, they're each individual pieces. Really? Okay, well, what does this look like anyway if we do this? I actually, you know what? I don't really mind that. It's not... The worst thing in the world. Oops. Alright, with the pipe corners. I mean, ugh. Why can't we just have wedge blocks? Honestly, I don't know why we can't just have wedge blocks. I feel like that is going to look better overall than the other ones. I honestly don't know why we don't have wedge blocks, though. The lack of wedge blocks, I never thought I would say it, but it makes me sad. Alright, so I lied. I made the decision to go back to these girder pieces, which I'm still not thrilled about. I really wish we had a proper wedge, but the one thing I realized with these pieces is we can paint them, and they'll be completely colored, whereas the pipe pieces, when you paint the pipe piece, it still leaves like a silver outline on it. So I feel like just for aesthetic purposes, these might work a little bit better. And actually, let's paint this truck. All right, and just like that, we've got a little bit of a paint job on this truck. Now, uh, the windows are tinted, actually. I just realized that. I'm going to just break the windows off. This is kind of a cool trick. You can just, rather than unpainting it, because unpainting takes a paint can, you can just break it and then reapply it. And uh, it'll be back to its original color, the clear color. So I'm going to actually not worry about painting the rest of this now we are completely out of paint so i'm going to do that later right now what i want to do 
is build the hitch mechanism and actually put a trailer on this thing so we can go transport some fruit. We've got all the basic stuff set up. So we've got a passenger seat, we've got the driver's seat, we've got the button and the switch. So there we go, if we press the button, you know, try and dispense, which of course it can't. And if we press the switch, it retracts that. We've got the fuel can on the other side, so that's perfect. So we just need the hitch mechanism. So to do the actual hitch mechanism, we're just gonna bring this groove in a little bit. And we're gonna have this get curved in with some pipe pieces as well, just to help guide it along. And then we're just gonna have a pin that comes out on a piston and blocks the entire path. So we should be able to do that over here somewhere and just have a piston that comes in. I know this isn't exactly perfect to how a truck works, but it should work to lock this in place. And actually, I think we go there. I didn't break that wheel off, did I? I hope not. Nope, that wheel's still intact. Okay, good. So yeah, I'll put the piston there and it can have a pin that's just a single long pipe piece. And then that single long pipe piece will just push to block this path completely and lock across either side. Bring this forward a couple more blocks and then completely block it off on this end. And this should be fine for the groove. And we're leaving that hollow underneath just because the pin will have lots of space that way. And I do have a little bit of paint, so we'll paint this whole thing black. Um, I think that's three paints left. Yeah, that's not, that's not enough. There we go. All right, so here's the pin. Insert the pin there. And now if we put this on a switch, which we have up here, switch number three, and attach that to the piston, and the piston has to go out... Uh, how many blocks? Oh, I guess we don't even need this groove, do we? No, just has to go out two blocks, right? Max speed, and now if we deploy this piston, boom, we should be able to lock our trailer in place just like that. So it'll slide along that groove, and then we lock our trailer in place. So now, all we gotta do is build the trailer, which is fantastic. All right, so the trailer's gonna be the same width as the truck, which is 15 blocks, I believe, right? So that's actually just one full extension minus one, so... We should be able to go like this and like so. There we go. So that should be the proper width. It looks like it lines up. And then we're just going to extend this all the way back until we run out of materials, which is probably going to be pretty soon. Actually, you know what? That's not bad. We actually have a ton. Okay, we can do this. One more stretch, I think, and it'll be the right, the right length for a decent trailer. All right, let's take this whole thing out back where it's actual flat ground and we're not dealing with these like weird lifty parts. So there's the truck. And there's the trailer. And lining up, that's not, that's actually not bad. So all we're gonna do is put a couple pistons on the trailer, uh, just to help support the thing up. And then we're gonna grab the pieces we need for the pin. So the pin just really has to extend down twice and then kind of lock in place. So we just need to make sure it's centered, which I believe is like there. And then we go down two. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's good. And then we split across. And if I can do this correctly, there we go, split across. And then we put some curve pieces on it as well. And this'll be our sort of makeshift truck pin that should lock us in place. So it'll hopefully slide into here and then it'll get stuck in there and we can lock it with the pin. And I'm just realizing we got some concrete things. You know what? That should be fine, though. It shouldn't be a big deal. So that's how our pin will work. And then, of course, to hold the trailer up while we're doing this, uh, we're going to have a couple of pistons here, you know, somewhere in the middle, like so. And these pistons will just deploy with a switch from the trailer, so that way we can keep the trailer jacked up when we don't actually have the truck on it. All right, so just with a few pipe pieces like this and a switch somewhere. I mean, we'll put it, you know, on the side here at the front. And it's pretty simple, so now we just gotta figure out what height these pistons need to be at. This might not work, to be honest. We might have to actually have the trailer, you know, as an entity with the truck, like, welded on with a bearing. But let's try this out, see if we can get this trailer hooked up and get going over to our station, collect some fruit. So let's, uh, back her up. Oh, it worked. It's in. Okay, three. Locks the pin in place. Perfect. Now we gotta drop the trailer. Perfect, okay, and now we're off. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa chill truck chill Chill this truck. Okay, you know what we need to adjust some things number one these bearings Can we change the rotation on this? Yeah 45 degrees, please. You'll notice we're getting a fair amount of frame rate lag now This is kind of the problem with transport trucks in creative mode as well. The trailer is like a separate vehicle 
so it's constantly calculating the collisions between the two. We might have to replace the pin mechanism with an actual just bearing and weld each trailer on as we want. I still want to have different trailers for different things, but rather than have, you know, one trailer that's completely free floating, we might have to actually just weld it so that it's all one entity and it all calculates properly. But it's not bad once we're moving, just when we were stopped there. It is definitely lower though when them when they're further apart from each other, but look at that. Now we're just we're hauling. We can do so much stuff. We got 45 degree turning on that truck, nice and steep. Alright, so let's go grab some fruit and let's fill up the truck with fruit and go make some deliveries. So I grabbed all the fruit from our crate. It's not much, but uh before we actually go, I'm gonna start this farm up because it's the best time to start it right after midnight. So check this out. Just so you guys can see how it all works. Look at that. Water, seed, water, seed. And the reason why is if you time it right after midnight, you can get only one farm wave spawning rather than two. So we should only get one wave at the end of today and then not have to deal with two waves. Because if it laps over the night, then you might get the next day alerted. Even if you harvest all the plants, if the wave has already decided it's going to come, it'll come even if you have no plants in your field. So you're trying to time it, but look at how fast this is now. It goes back and forth. Double seeds, and there we go, unauthorized farming detected, that's great. But look at that, we're gonna plant all this stuff. And then of course when it's done, it'll auto shut off. And just such a wonderful thing to have now. So I can just turn it on, let it go, and of course we'll have to harvest it all ourselves. But honestly, harvesting is very quick. You just kind of run around and right click and get it all. Now look at that, boom. Should do the whole thing, no problem. So cool. And of course, because it's doing two different chests, it's alternating the rows of crops because I have different seeds in each of the chests. But there we go. Gets to the end, finishes, it's done, back to where it is. So, all right, let's go sell some stuff to the trader. Let's get over there right and early in the morning. Make sure we sell some stuff. I've noticed this cab is a little big. I might shrink it down. I'm not sure yet. I might shrink it though. I might cut the end down, make it a little bit narrower. It's a little, little wide for a flat nose. But I think the biggest thing I might have to do is actually just make the trailers weld on to each vehicle. I really want to have them free floating like this because it's more, you know, legit. It's more like a truck. But of course, uh, you know, it's also causing more lag that way. Although right now it's not really that bad. So I can't complain too much. So let's just park our trailer here. And of course, we'll just come like this, push this down just like that. Grab this, undo the pin. Perfect. Drive off. See, that's what, that's why I like the trailer. Without that, you don't get the same, the same feel. And now we can actually use our truck to deploy the fruit. So press the one button, that comes out. That's awesome. And we just line up with whichever one we want. So we got tomatoes. Okay, so let's do tomatoes first. I think that's close enough. Okay, tomatoes. There we go. A little bit of lag here for some reason. That's kind of weird. Why are we, why are we dying? Oh, there we go. Fixed itself. Perfect. All right, tomatoes. So we should just be able to hit it a bunch of times until it's full. I also find it kind of silly that these bars take 10 of each fruit. Oh god, it's lagging like crazy. Okay, it's fine. But they only have seven bars on the packing station. So the packing station shows you seven, but you have to feed it 10. So you don't always get a light that comes up. Sometimes when you hit it, you only get one, you know, you get half a light, I guess. So it doesn't actually put a light down. I think it should just be 10. Like, it would be cool if it showed you... 10 and 10. But anyway, let's finish these tomatoes. I think we had 40 tomatoes total. So we'll just spam this button a bit. Look at that. Just shooting tomatoes into the packing station. Alright. Another tomatoes. Yep. Perfect. And then we got beets and carrots. So we'll get a bunch of different things here and then we'll be able to trade it right when the sun's coming up and then we'll be good to go. I don't know how many fruit crates we can hold, but we're just going to grab them all. Who cares? See how many we can actually do in one single load with this flatbed. I think it would be really cool though to have other trailers for other things like, you know, a mining trailer for example, right? That does some mining or something. But either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think a little bit of this truck needs reworking. I want to, I want to narrow the cab up. I think the cab's too long. It kind of looks like a sleeper cab. And in all honest opinion, we could probably fit a bed in the back if we really wanted to. But I think it just should be narrower and, I don't know, maybe get rid of the extra axle. I'm, I like... I like having all the axles though. On this trip, I'm just gonna fill the trailer. I'm not gonna unlock anything in the trailer. I wanna save that for a later episode so we can unlock something and, you know, actually go explore. Right now, I'm just gonna try and get this stuff. Maybe we'll actually pick up some of the seeds, maybe some of the rarer seeds. We can start growing like blueberries and bananas, I think is what the trader sells. But I think I wanna do a little bit more grinding between episodes and next episode, I wanna do a bit more base building. I wanna get moved out of the mechanic shop. I'm tired of having to drive back to the mechanic shop whenever we wanna do something. I wanna just have all our stuff 
in one spot at the base and start actually living in the base, you know, full time. Only go to the mechanic shop if we need to pick up some of those specialty bots. So I think that'll be next episode, but we definitely need to start trading for the spud gun and other things. And oh my god, we're still going with these beats? Holy cow. How many crates of beets do we have? This is insane. Oh, we're going to have to start moving the crates. They are starting to lag out. Let's get rid of these crates. If this trailer's full, I guess we just take it now. Um, I don't really want to overfill it and put all these crates on the side, too. We still have a bunch of fruit left over for sure because we haven't even touched the carrots yet. But either way. Oh, goodness. Is it too heavy now for the pistons? It's too heavy for the pistons. That's funny. That's actually okay. You know what? It's, it's fine. We'll just drop the pistons completely. We can use the lift. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna need we're gonna need a, a stronger support. Apparently, something that actually like locks into place because these crates are heavy. So, either way, we'll use the lift to get this truck lined up. Won't be a big deal if I can actually get these fruit crates on it. There we go. Perfect. Oh my goodness! I can't believe that that's that heavy. That's insane. I wonder if this truck's even going to be able to tow it. That's the other question. I mean, we can always increase the engine power. We do have more component kits. But that's just ridiculous. They overpowered the two pistons like it was nothing. Okay, how many crates is that? That's like one, two, three, four, eight in a row. So we can get 16 crates on this thing. That's not bad. This is actually the perfect amount of crates. All right, so let's just take these and sell them all to the trader. And then I'll have to come back later and get more fruit. So let's grab the truck. Loop it around. Come here. Back up. Be very careful. We flip the trailer over. We can't get it back on the lift because it has all these fruit crates on board. So there we go. Lock. It's the pin. The pin's got it locked. Perfect. Drop the lift out of the way. Oh yeah. Oh, this truck has so much power. This is awesome. This is this is so cool. So let's head over to the trader. Just got a. Kind of turn and pull a complete Yui here. The uh, Luckily for us, the trader's not too far. We do have to do a bit of off-roading, but I think this truck can handle it. This is amazing. I love this trailer. And because we have the bottom T-piece on the trailer pin, it can actually come out if we go over a big bump. It should stay locked down in place no matter what we do. So that's kind of nice. Um, the turning radius kind of got bad. Um, oh, are you not... You're not gonna... Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Ah, get wrecked, farm bot, get wrecked. Okay, let's back up. We need to go up this hill here. Should be able to do it, right? Full speed. How much gas we got left? Half a tank. We're okay. Oh, this thing is sweet. I love this truck. But definitely let me know what you guys think of this truck in the comments down below. What other trailers do you think we should have? I'm definitely doing trucking. I'm doing a lot more trucking. I want to do so much more trucking. It's not even funny. I just, I think it's fun. I think it's a lot of fun. And uh, this truck with hitch seems to work okay. If it starts to lag a lot, I'll switch to bearings, but for now, I think I'm gonna leave it like this, just so it feels more legit. It's definitely one of those things, when I was playing creative, I always used to love building different types of trucks, and it's just, there was never a use for them, but now that we actually have a reason to make different trucks for hauling and stuff, I think it's absolutely awesome, and oh god, don't go in the water. Back up, back up, come on. Come on, Jack, Jack. The trailer just, it doesn't want to get up on that lip. Really? All right, let's, let's try this again. Let's come at it from a straight spot. Got a big fruit delivery here right for you. Oh my god. Seriously? Jackknife. Thank you. Thank you, trailer. Now straight. Straighten out. I suck at driving a truck. I suck so much at driving this truck. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, go the other way. Oh my goodness. This is like the world's worst truck driver. Oh my... Okay. You know what? Alright, third time's the charm. Here we go. Back it up. Back it up. Just go straight. Yeah, straight on. Straight on. Nice. Alright. Can I just press the button and have them get sucked off the truck? Does that work? It it does one. I have to keep spamming it for every single one? Okay. Sure. No problem. Just unloading the truck. This is sick. You can actually see the trailer getting lighter on the suspension as we unload it. Alright. This is awesome. I love it. I'm gonna do so much trucking now. Just like gathering fruit and trucking and then farming more and trucking more. I, I absolutely love it. I definitely want to make some changes to this truck and of course finish painting it. But either way, I still think it's a wicked vehicle. And it does a great job at transporting a massive amount of fruit. I feel like we can make a bigger trailer. 
for fruit. We should have a, a bigger trailer than that. And I might actually do a trailer where we put a vertical panel in the middle, and then that way, when you come up to it, you don't have to jump and click down here to get the fruit. You can just look at it and click and put all the fruit crates next to each other up against the panel. So that might work uh, a lot easier. But what can we get? Banana seeds, we need carrots. Of course we do. Tomatoes, we got those. Beets, we got those. So we have 12 beets, 4 tomatoes, and the one farmer dude from the last episode. So awesome. That's great. We'll have to do more farming and uh, get more stuff out to this trader. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.